You know, ever since I was 12 years old, all I've wanted to be was a professional wrestler. And at the age of 24, I was finally afforded that opportunity. And for the past four and a half years, that's exactly what I've done. But last month at NWA Houston, I felt four and a half years of hard work slip away just like that. As I lay on the outside of the ring on the cold cement floor, clutching my shoulder, writhing in pain, I felt everything start to slip away. But more importantly than that, as I was laying out there, no one came to check on me. The referee didn't check on me. The medics didn't check on me. NWA Houston security didn't check on me. And to top it off, the NWA Houston CEO himself, Tony Brooklyn, didn't come to check on me. So as I finally was able to pull myself up, the match was over, and intermission had already started, and no one had come to check on me. And as I make my way to the locker room, I walk by the NWA Houston CEO, Tony Brooklyn, and I looked him dead in the eyes, and I asked him, what the hell's going on around here, man? Where was someone to help me? He didn't have an answer for me. He just shrugged his shoulders. And I looked him dead in the eyes, and you know what I saw? I saw the eyes of a coward staring back at me. That's exactly who Tony Brooklyn is. He's a damn coward. The NWA Houston CEO isn't a man at all. He's a spineless coward who has no respect for the talent who go out there and put their bodies on the line every month so he can sit back and act like he's something important. See, he doesn't give a damn about anybody. And he sure as hell doesn't give a damn about me. So, Tony, you can hide behind that little microphone, and you can hide behind that stupid-looking suit, and you can hide behind the letters of the NWA. All of that means absolutely nothing to me, Tony. You've already proven that you don't care, so the next time I'm at NWA Houston... I'm going to prove to exactly how much I don't care either.